Okay, so today's video is gonna be dedicated to all my new subscribers from Algeria. You know, from all the videos that I've posted on this channel, I have yet to see a country rally behind a plate of food quite like Algerians have, and Majuba, Algerian crepes. It's a video that I made last year for uh, when I stopped in Algeria on my Cooking Around the World series. Such nice people over there. The feedback's been like incredible. Although I am incredibly sorry that I added carrots to the dish. That was my mistake. Also, I was calling it Majuba and I think it's Mahajeb or I don't know, actually. I really don't know. I'm sorry, I mean well. Anyway, because of the success of that video and because I'm all fired up about it, I want to make more Algerian food. So I'm gonna make an Algerian chickpea pie called Karantika. Although I'm not 100% sure if it's called Garantita. I'm gonna go with Karantika because that's what all the requests say. It's a very popular Algerian street food. It's also, you make it at home too. It's a, you know, it's a Algerian fast food essentially. And I've never had it before. In fact, I've never heard of it before. So I'm just gonna dive right in, give it a try. That's how we do it over here. Let's make it. Bowl me. Thank you. So I had to make a special purchase of, this is chickpea flour, two cups worth. And I went to an Indian grocery store to pick this up. It's right down the street, no problems. And uh, the name for it in the store was called Bisan, Bison, I don't know, chickpea flour. Cool, so I'm gonna need my food processor. Don't forget to put the blade in there. Two cups of chickpea flour, four cups or a liter of water. Oh. Oh, this is gonna get messy. Half a cup of vegetable oil, a tablespoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. It's filled up way to, oh, it's at the max level, okay. Probably have too small of a food processor for the amount that I'm making. What's gonna happen if I run this? Yeah, that's gonna go everywhere. So it's gonna spit out the sides if I run this thing, and I am gonna run this thing, so I'm just gonna cover the sides with paper towel. I don't know. Couple pulses ought to do it. Little mess, no problems. Less ingredients or a bigger food processor. But anyway, it all worked out. Here it is. It is smooth and frothy. So I'm gonna use this baking dish and I'm gonna pour this in. One egg, beaten. This is the part of the recipe that kind of confuses me quite honestly, but it says pour the beaten egg over the top of the mixture. Pour it over, I guess. So I gotta bake this for 45 minutes to an hour in a 375 degrees Fahrenheit oven. What is that, 190 degrees Celsius until the top is a, like, a nice golden. Careful, should open the door first before you grabbed it. It's your own fault. Just to be on the safe side. Now we wait. So, you know, in hindsight, I probably used too small of a baking dish because I bet you the thickness should be around half that because you can see here, the top is still jiggling around and it's been, it's been an hour. So I don't think this is ready yet. I'm gonna put it in for another, what, like 10 minutes or something? All right. Trust the process. So I had a little bit of a broiler incident. I wasn't gonna leave this in the video, but what the hell. Um, the top part of the pie uh, burnt and got all black from the broiler, from the heat burning down on it. So um, what I did is I just kind of cut off and peeled off that top burnt layer and there's like a fresh layer underneath. So I have that under the broiler for the next few minutes. Because this is so damn thick, add on 20 minutes from an hour. That's how long it took. A baguette. 
I believe there's a few ways to eat this, but what I'm gonna do is kind of make a sandwich out of it. And then I have this right here. Harissa, a blend of hot peppers, oil, and various spices. North Africa's favorite hot sauce. Sprinkle some cumin on top. Order up. That's for me. I eat too much. <clears throat> I eat too much. That is just a delight. It's a simple delight. I eat way too much, way too fast. But it was delicious. It tastes like a chickpea pie. And I guess depending on how long you leave it in the oven for, you can get it firm or you can get it kind of mushy. Mine was kind of in between. Squeeze the two slices of baguette together and it kind of squeezes out the sides a bit. I like that. Terrific food that I'm just experiencing for the first time and I love it. I love trying new things like this. If you're a fan of chickpeas, of course you gotta try that. If you're not a fan of chickpeas, don't try that. Of course, if you're gonna have like a rectangular baking sheet, you can make this much thinner and then it's gonna take a lot less time in the oven. A few options to take there. You can go the sandwich route, you can just eat it as is, kind of like you know, when you look at it like this, it kind of reminds me of like a Spanish tortilla, obviously much different. Uh, so you can have it either way. That's it, that's all. I'll see you all very soon, bye.